You know how like when you get sick, like you'll just get like really hot and cold and like clammy? Clammy? I mean, let me feel your hands. No, like my body is like clammy. Let me feel your well, body. Well, I just put lotion. I'm just like clammy. You don't feel right in your skin. I've got clammy right here. Oh, that, wow. What is that? It's like a cold clammy body of sickness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you have any vitamin C? Jenna, do you know what we're gonna do today? No, what are we gonna do? I know one thing we're gonna do. We're getting in the holiday spirit. So Jenna, where are we? We're at the mall. Well, this isn't really the mall. <laughs> the fake mall. We made it. So Jenna and I actually have a bunch of errands to run and we decided to team up and get them all done together. First stop, Chipotle. Second stop, TBD. Third stop, definitely happening. Holiday spirit, guys. <laughs> So Jenna, could you please explain to me what we're about to go do right now? Well, if you're down, we're gonna go get Manny. If I'm down, it's my decision. Yeah. I was hoping that you could say that you're like forcing me to do this, so it's like nobody tries to take my well, man card. Well, I, mean, I asked you last time, and you said yeah, and I was really excited because it was something we could do together, and you, and then you backed out. So the Manny Petty, it's uh, it's about to happen. You think? So I think it should happen. Ah. <laughs> what is going on? I just got a Manny Petty. It happened. I couldn't avoid her any longer than I did. I avoided it a really, really long time. She trapped me though. She tempted me with Chipotle, <laughs> and then it just kind of happened. You paying too? I forced you to come. You just taking me out, huh? Around the town, pampered and Thank paid you. for. I was a little apprehensive at first, but I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel like a newborn. My hands and feet feel like that anyway. It's like I'm like walking in these Yeezys, and I'm just like sliding. Sliding around. It's like I'm walking in a thing of jello. So there was only one problem with that entire process of getting my nails done with Jenna was I'm almost 99% sure that the women doing it were making fun of me the entire time. I don't think so. They were speaking in a different language and I didn't understand a word of what they were saying. There was like two people working on you, two of them working on me, and they seemed very, very nice. But like every couple minutes they'd like look at each other, then look at me and then just start laughing. Aww. I was being made fun of, like... Maybe a little bit. I also have really, really hairy feet. I hope you tip them a lot of money because my feet and hands are probably... Like, I don't groom like the women they probably deal with. It's probably disgusting. Oh, yeah. They're they were flying. scraping stuff that I didn't even know could be scraped. There's no way that came off my nail. Your hands nail. are going to be so smooth now. How are you going to game? Feel them. Feel them. I'm going to touch your face. No, don't touch my face. Here, hold, They're my, clean. hold my hand. Let me touch your face. Hold my hand. Let me. I don't, no, don't touch my... Why I, no, not? Because you have all the oils and lotion on your face. It was wax. Okay, and wax. Those are smooth fingers. Those are smooth little... Look at those hairy little... Yeah, you think so? I got, Go ahead, keep on touching. I got, so what did I say at the beginning of the video, Jenna? We're getting in the holiday spirit, and we're picking ourselves up a Christmas tree at Jenna's favorite place in the world. <laughs> Home Depot! Home Depot. As you guys know, I don't live in a home, so I need a little bit of a smaller tree. These bigger ones won't work, and I'm definitely not getting a real tree because those things make an absolute mess. So we need to find the perfect size and the right tree because we love Christmas around here. What did you just say? 6'5 pre-lit. I want that one. You want this one? No. Come on, Jenna. What's the golden rule of Christmas? You never get a Christmas tree with these plain lights. It's gotta be the multicolored okay, lights. Okay, follow me to the next aisle. If you listen, and please go around the bend this way. To follow me, follow me to fun. Don't, Don't follow. step on my feet, my toes are wet. All right, let's go. Show me where we're going. Yes, this, no, 100 million percent, this is the kind of tree we want. I'm a little conflicted because this tree does look kind of cool. It's got like the frosted tips, fake snow. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you. Don't hit me. Don't hate me, I'm sorry. So our hopes and dreams of getting a Christmas tree are slowly but surely diminishing. Every tree is like essentially sold out and they said they might have more in the trucks but they're not in the store yet and I was looking online to see if we can get them. I did not realize that fake Christmas trees were such a hot commodity where you can't even find them in stores so might be striking out here. A little disappointed. The one on display was absolutely perfect. I loved it and now we can't find it so we'll see. It's not looking good.
Christmas tree acquired. Quick Starbucks run. Jenna was hungry. We've had a long day. We are in Home Depot for like two hours. Not even kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm down for the long run now. Red Corvette in my truck. All right, Jenna. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Honey, I shrunk my Christmas tree. What happened to your little, little tree? Okay, well, we tried replacing the fuses a million times because we plugged it in and it doesn't work. Replaced one fuse because they only gave you one replacement. It still doesn't work. And it looks stupid. If you guys recall at Home Depot, Jenna and I were going to get the six and a half foot tree and then she decided that she wanted to be the Christmas Grinch and get a four foot tree. And I feel bad because she ended up buying it and the lights don't work and now we need to return it. So we spent two hours at Home Depot for this tree not to even work. Ah. Goodbye. Goodbye. You have glitter on your head. Goodbye. Pretty. Bye bye. How are you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? Not too bad. Happy holidays, guys. Yeah, you as well, man. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Time. Yeah, have a good one. Man, that guy was so nice. So as you guys just saw, we ordered pizza because the next video that you guys see on this channel after this one is something that I know you guys are gonna love. But I have a quick question for you guys, because this video is not over yet. We still have a lot of things to do tonight. Would you eat this pizza the way that it came? Yes or no? I wanna know, would you eat this pizza? Ah, uh, you know what? I would definitely eat this pizza, but it got stuck to the top and the cheese is like soup. It's like morphed all around. It's not even like individual slices have been cut. It's just soup of cheese, soup of cheese and pep. Why did it get all flaccid on me? Dude, I feel like it's missing a little size and girth. Wish me luck. We went through an entire ordeal with Jenna's. We spent two hours, two, two hours in Home Depot. I didn't even know that was possible. The Home Depot that I grew up in at least had a hot dog stand. That one didn't, that, that place sucked. Long story short, Jenna's didn't work and this thing looks absolutely terrible. Oh my god. All right, let's just pray that lights up. Yes! It lights up! It's not broken! It still kind of looks... Not... This is the most depressing Christmas tree I think I've ever had. So now that I have the tree assembled, I've got to figure out where to put this thing. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video today. I wanna say thank you for everyone that tuned into the vlog. I appreciate y'all, but before you go, I wanna fill you in on something that happened yesterday. If you don't follow me on Twitter, then you didn't see it, so I gotta mention it here today. So as most of you guys know, I have my own scuff controller with my own design and everything. If you guys don't know what a scuff is, it's got hairpin triggers and these paddles on the back so that you can remap them to any button on this controller so that you never have to take your thumbs off these joysticks if you wanna reload, jump, or anything like that. It really makes you a better player. So with that being said, I'm extremely proud to announce that we have added two brand new colorways to the Nade Shot Scuff Gaming Collection. The whole theme behind it is Team Red versus Team Blue. The blue controller is blue with orange accents, and then the red controller is red with blue accents. I absolutely love them. I can't wait till I get them in. They're probably in my mailbox now, but I, I haven't been able to find them, but you guys saw the images on screen. I hope that you guys like the new designs. I definitely think you should check them out. If you guys want to pick one up, there is a link in the description below. I can get you guys 5% off with the discount code NATEShot when you check out. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you very much for watching the video and YouTube. We'll see you budging later. Goodbye.